Hours after Tyree Nichols' family viewed video footage of the traffic stop that led to his death, city and community leaders met for a community meeting in District 3, just yards away from where it all began. So heart-wrenching. It's in my district as well, and I want everyone to know that our number one goal is safety. Monday, Memphis Fire confirmed to Action News 5 two employees were relieved of duty pending the outcome of an internal investigation in connection to Nichols' death. Councilman J.B. Smiley tells us the employees were EMTs, specifically those in the ambulance with Nichols. I think uh, Director Sweat took the necessary uh, position of immediately removing them from duty. I think that's what has to be done. We have to send a very strong message that any type of misconduct will not be allowed to go on in the city administration. My concern is if they were not there in a timely manner and they didn't do what they were supposed to do, we want action. That's all the community is saying. Let's do our jobs, let's go to work, and let's support one another. Rains Precinct Commander Colonel Dennis McNeil, who's worked for MPD for more than 30 years, shared his condolences. I'd like to personally apologize for any actions uh, that the Memphis Police Department may have been involved with. Uh, I agree with Councilman Jones that those actions from those few officers is not indicative of the entire police department. Councilman Smiley says city leaders not only offer their condolences, but a commitment to work together to make sure nothing like this happens again. And I can just imagine, you know, what my mother would do if it was me. So we're going to do what we can. There's no way that we can write it, but we can advocate for justice. And I think that every member of the Memphis City Council will be doing that going forward. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.